Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I talk a lot on this channel about pieces that I love and how I'm styling them in my wardrobe. And my good friend Kyle Galvin, he said to me, I've seen so many pieces that you love on your channel, why don't you at least talk about things that you really don't like and show ways that you can style them up? So he gave me this idea for this video. The idea being, I just gone through ASOS, finding pieces that I would never ever buy. I would never buy them, they're just not the right colour for me, the right style, it's just something I would always veer away from. So that's why I thought I'd do this video, styling up items that I hate. Hating is a very strong word. So sorry to anyone if you have any of these pieces, this is just my personal opinion. They're just things that I just don't think would suit me. I don't know, maybe you guys would think differently. But the idea for this video is just to style up some pieces I would never buy and try and make them work with my existing wardrobe. So I've got five pieces that I'm going to wear this week just to see how I feel about them, see how they look on me <laughs> and see if I can make them work with the things that are already in my wardrobe. By the way, all the pieces, if I've worn them and they're still absolutely perfect condition, I may send them back. If not, I will give them to charity. Also, I just want to say if you are brand new here, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed to my channel. I make a couple of videos per week, all very fashion beauty orientated, so please do subscribe. I will leave a link down below if you'd like to join me. Let's kick this off with the first thing that I found. This bad boy. So I pulled this out earlier and Alex said, oh my God, it's the sugar puff monster. <laughs> and it really is. It's like Big Bird and the sugar puff monster made babies and they came out like this. This to me is something I would never ever even look twice at. I would probably be like, ugh. No, it's just not right. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of fake fur anyway, because I'm not a fan of fur. In this yellow, like sickly yellow colour, I just wasn't digging it. It looks a bit like Big Pimpin, I think. Um, <laughs> so the idea is potentially put this on and wear this today. Wow. Well, at least it's got pockets. That's one thing. I mean, they're very far back on the coat, but look at me. Yeah, I think maybe animal print adds to it in a, in a very wrong kind of way. I think this just needs simple rather than this. <laughs> I would be so amazed if someone could make this look amazing. I mean, I think if you could make it look good, then it would look good. I literally feel like Big Bird. I don't really want to leave the house, I'll be honest. Okay, maybe I'll try it with some other things. <laughs> right. What will make this look better? I'm thinking I have the exact same top but in black. It's a bit, it's a little bit sheer, but maybe just black. Under this it's a little bit more chilled. I mean, I could maybe try and get away with these trousers and keep it as like the main event. Or I could try, I could try these trousers with a little bit of gold down them so it mixes in <laughs> with the colour. Look, I'd look at me like colour pairing with this big bird. Right, I think I'm going to try that. Let's see what we think. So I live in my hair. It's fine. I'm going to go with mules. Easy to walk in for a nice little little stroll. Yeah, I think I can't not wear heels right now for this. Uh, so I'm going to put these on. Ooh. Okay, quite nice this actually. It's a little bit shit so you can see a bit of bra but it doesn't bother me actually. I quite like that. Right, let's try it. Okay, it definitely looks better. Definitely looks a lot better with the fitted pants and the black roll neck now babe what do you think now that i styled it up a bit it's definitely better still getting sugar puff monster vibes from it <laughs> it really is sugar puff monster isn't yeah, it yeah i don't know <gasps> okay let's go get coffees oh, God. we are making our way to prep i feel a bit silly <laughs> i feel very silly alex doesn't want me to alex doesn't want me to share <laughs> with him <laughs> Hey, I think I've made it look pretty cool now. I think quirkiness is a bit more accepted than London. I think so. I think I've already spotted two people staring at me. We've got our coffees. We've been to Pret now, we're in Hyde Park. I'll be honest, I'm absolutely boiling. It's a beautiful day and I've got this big bird suit on. I've had a couple of funny looks so far. I'm just trying to feel like confident in this massive coat. I'm trying to own it. I'm trying to all these kids ahead of you are going to shout Big Bird at you now. <laughs> I'm feeling very self-conscious, I'll be honest. Oh, that's sure. We're now sat in Hyde Park, having our butties, our sandwiches with our coffees. Um, and I actually can't wait to take this off, I'm absolutely rusting. 
Are you rusty? I'm rather absolutely boiling hot. Um, okay, so let's just summarise this outfit. Save do it you for think? Halloween. Do you think wear I made it look better at least? Yeah, you definitely did make it look better. Could I actually still wear this as a day-to-day -day thing? You I'm could, just not with me. So I think the conclusion is I can't make this look good. No, I think I don't think it looks too bad. I'm probably going to get slated for this. It's just my it's my opinion and it's your opinion. That's all it is. Yeah. I just think it's horrible personally. I think I failed on this one. I don't, I don't think, think I've managed have. to make this look good enough. No, like I, wearable enough. I think it's all right. Two people up there were laughing. I could hear them sniggering. I know. Yeah. I heard somebody shout to say fashion a couple of times. Really? Like they were lolling yeah. with each other. Really? <laughs> That's what it is. Fashion. <laughs> okay. So. Maybe a failure. One. What would you rate it out of 10? When I first tried it on it was a 1, and now it's a 3. Yeah, so that's, so it's gone up a little bit. Pretty good. <laughs> Another jacket. This one just felt very structured and very like three-year-old boy going out to play in the snow sort of thing. I mean, you look at like the way the arms are just like... Doo -doo -doo. I mean, I realise it's padded, but... I just wouldn't ever want to wear this collar style patterning. It just feels very Christmassy. More essential for like the slopes or something like that. But this was for kind of like autumn vibes. I just just don't think I could pull this off, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Okay, morning guys. This is gonna be my second attempt at wearing items that I'm not fond of today. I have already picked out an outfit for the red jacket right here behind me. I thought this could somewhat work and it's also an outfit I really wanted to wear and I thought if it if underneath the jacket I'm wearing something I really really like then maybe it'll make me feel differently. I'm just putting on my my boots. Um can we just talk about these now these are items that I love. These boots I've just talked about these in my new um glamour column because I'm actually in love with them. I'll leave a link below by the way to my glamour column if you would like to read it about things to wear this season. So, put on my new boots. I've got on my new jumper. This is from Amanda Wakely. It's got some really sweet embroidered and sequined moth moth details on it, and it's just quite oversized and really lovely. So this is the outfit without the coat. Lovely burgundy black jumper, black leather trousers, and the boots. So let's try on the jacket. What do you think? <laughs> I'm just worried about getting loads of makeup on it because it's just sat right underneath my chin. I kind of want it to be a bit more, look at it a bit more out, like this, and then a bit more shape. I mean, I guess that would come over time, wouldn't it, as soon as you wore it? You know, it's not that awful now. I've, I've styled it with this. I've not tucked in the burgundy jumper. I've just left that underneath, untucked. So also, I kind of like that little bit of a, a double layering effect. Double layering is in this year, guys. So, um, yeah, and then I'll just be wearing my Bulgari bag. So today I have a meeting, um, I'm going meeting with Mind Magazine and then we are going over to the Lanesborough Hotel for a little staycation, me and Alex. So I'm going to wear this coat to the hotel. <laughs> okay, I am back. Oh, it's really bright. That's better. Okay, back from my meeting. I had an actually amazing, amazing meeting. Not, <laughs> I didn't feel so fantastic in this coat, but I, um, but I was, never mind. Nothing was said about it, luckily. <laughs> However, we're now gonna be packing up. I'm going over to Ladensborough, so I just need to quickly pack a few more bits and then we'll be off again. Okay, we have just checked in to the Lanesborough Hotel. Need to put on some lip balm. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. We've got the most beautiful, sweet, all on this like pastel blue shade. And I made it here in my lovely chunky red coat. <laughs> Not as many funny looks as in the uh, yellow bird jacket. So I do think, like I said, I think, wait a minute, is this another room? Oh, you know, we have a little uh, side room here too. This kind of goes with my outfit, like I said, and it doesn't look as bad. It's just, just not my style, that's all. So actually, I've, I've kind of changed my mind on this a little bit. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna start wearing this every day, but I feel a little bit bad about what I said about it. And I don't think it's as bad. I make so much noise. I don't think it's as bad as I um, first thought. It's just the shape, it's just a little bit unflattering. But overall, not too bad. And I like it with this outfit. This full length sequin jumpsuit which comes with which comes with beige knickers with bay wait well, no it's a beige thong it comes with a beige thong that you then wear here because this is entirely see-through 
So you've got a beige thong to put on with it. And then this bit here, luckily, isn't see-through. But you're going to have a lot of breastage in the middle here. A lot of cleavage there. I mean, I don't really have much cleavage, so we'll see. I mean, on first glances, yeah, the colours are pretty lovely. But it's the fact that it's a full length and it's just so flamboyant, you know? I just saw it and was like, who can actually pull that off? Like, really, you'd have to have... You'd have to be very brave. I mean, I'm very confident, but you're going to be very confident to wear this bad boy. So that's it. Okay, so Vic's just tried on outfit number three. Tonight, Matthew. <laughs> I'm going to be da 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 Shit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, it's not as awful. <laughs> You're going to say hideous. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought originally. It's just very flamboyant like this. I don't think the legs are very flattering like on it. It would be great if someone's like a dancer and they're going on stage to do like contemporary dance. I've still got this in it, by the way, because I kind of want to give it back. Don't want to waste my money, and I feel like I could, just, I could give it back. But okay, I think you need to um, <laughs> maybe put some shoes on. Yeah, so I've got some things that I thought would style it with to try and make it a little bit more me. So first up, pair of heels. I've got my Nicholas Kirkwood in the gold. Kind of carry on, carry on this flamboyant metallic. <laughs> Vibe. I mean, nude heels probably have worked too, but... So much shiny. So much shiny. To mattify the shiny, I thought, I mean, a, a, a shorter white blazer... Oh! A shorter white blazer would probably work better, but I just thought throwing on something quite sophisticated on top would be... What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Is it better with it? Because I feel like from the side, then it just looks like I'm wearing some cool pants with a blazer. But then from the front you're like, oh hello, it's an accessory. Valentina. Bit of new, bit more sparkle. What do you reckon? Okay, yeah, all right. It's, not... it's better like this. It's definitely better. So we're going to go down now for dinner. We're at the Lanesborough Hotel, which is a very, very fancy place. <laughs> we're going to go down for dinner. <laughs> and I'm going to be dressed like this. Are you ready? Nope. <laughs> Joe, it's not all that bad. Please mind Why keep looking at it? Please. Oh, is it? Oh, mm -hmm. Snap, you know, I quite like it with the blazer on. Going it looks good. Uh, quite sophisticated. It's very dancer esque, though, isn't it's it? It's very dancer. I'm just going to walk in like this. <laughs> yeah, there's not. Just look at the, the difference more, between the me and you, the though. The more I'm wearing it, though, the more I'm like, hello. I feel like Patricia would rock this, actually. <laughs> Wow, so? I'm really starting to like them. I'm around to the idea of it. So you're going to try and get them tailored so you can get rid of the top. I noticed the couple that was waiting in front of us in the queue. She was talking about your pants. Oh, but I couldn't tell if it was a positive or a... Oh, really? I'm really good at eavesdropping on people. And she like kind of nodded and looked and her boyfriend looked and like nodded back at her. But she could have said anything. She could have said, could have look said. how fantastic they are. Or she could have said, have you seen this girl? Well, I think if you don't know what they said, it's better to think the best, not the worst. It's got nothing to do with what they said. Well, that's, that's what I always say. It doesn't matter, but yeah. let's think the best. Therefore, let's think the best. I think she's gone out and bought them right now. I think she's on the internet right now, no, Googling them. I think you should just take the blazer off. No. And own it. No, but I own it. This is my favorite <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> that much competition, really. <laughs> we have an orange boiler suit that kind of reminded me of Slim Shady meets Orange is the New Black. I mean, I, I like a good boiler suit. I really do. I mean, this is from ASOS Denim. It just looks a little bit... I mean, this is a six. It looks kind of... It looks kind of big, and I'm, again, I'm not sure on this colour. It just feels a bit too over the top. I don't know, I feel like if it was in a beige, it might be a little bit more wearable or a grey. But I saw it and was like, I would never, ever be able to pull that off. I mean, as I'm looking at it, I'm thinking like heels, because heels can fix most things. But maybe, I don't know, maybe like a roll neck underneath it, like a black roll neck. Something to really cinch this in at the waist. Not sure on this at all. Okay, so... The next day, um, so this is a fourth a prison. <laughs> prison. <laughs> this is my fourth outfit. We are going down for breakfast to meet my friend Charlie, who lives up north. She's down here, and I haven't seen her in ages, so we're going meeting her. So I thought I'd show up in my boiler suit and see what she thought. So, right, thought I'd pair it with a Balenciaga's. 
And I thought rather than, because I kind of thought go for, go for super simple and go black under, but then I thought that would just be too easy. So I thought I'd go for this. And then what about, what about if I put a belt on with it? Thought maybe it might help cinch it a little bit more. Then I put my animal print top underneath it. Does that look any better? Yeah. And then I'd have my, do you know what I could do as well? If I, I'll put it with my bouldery bag. And then if I also roll up the sleeves, as well like that. How's that? I've not even done my hair today. I've forgotten to bring a- It's not too bad. I've forgotten to bring a brush with me. Oh, it's not too bad. Gosh, no. that's, that's positive for you, babe. I mean- Is this one of your favorites? No, it's not one of my favorites. The, the yellow bird is still my favorite. <laughs> Is this better than last night's glam outfit? Do you think I'm, am I getting I, away with it? I feel I, like you like it. I, it's not that I'd, I'd like it, it's just it's it's not that bad. Is it not? No. Personally, I think some people might like this look. Really? Yeah. I've not even seen it. Let me have a look in a mirror. Oh! Yeah? Oh, do you know what? So it is kind of I cool. like it with the animal print a lot. It, I think and now it's cinched in at the waist, like really pulled in, like super tight. Oh, do you know what? It's got belt loops, I didn't even see them. Okay, I might put it back through the belt loops, but do you know what? And with these boobs and that length. I think if it was a better material, I think it'd be better. Do you know what? I actually really, really like it. You're going to keep it? I, I kind of want to. No, no joke, I did not think this would look like this. I hadn't, I promise I hadn't seen it on until now, right now. I actually, I'm actually digging it. This colour now, actually. I thought it was a bit ridiculous, this colour for a boiler suit, but I'm digging it. Do you know, I think this, I think out of the, out of the four so far, this is yeah. the best one I've restyled to make it, like, workable. Let me know, guys, what you think. Don't be swayed by my opinion. <laughs> but which is your fave? Uh, uh, uh. Hi. I'm <laughs> oh, done. <laughs> this is Charlie. In fact, you might know Charlie from previous videos. So we're just having our breakfast. And I just asked Charlie, what does she think of my boiler suit? <laughs> it is very bright. <laughs> you do, you can pull it off, I think. think. I think with the animal print, yeah. Break, it kind of pulls it into the autumn a bit. Yeah. What do you think? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what though? I could see you wearing something like this. I do want a boiler suit, but not that colour. I thought it was cord when I was walking up oh, to you. It does look a bit cordy. Yeah, it is I quite think it's thick. Material. It's a, quite a thick, warm material, yeah. to be fair. I think if it wasn't that colour, it would be fine. Do you think? Just yeah. a bit less orange. Less orange. More beigey orange. Yeah. But it's definitely my favourite of the five. So I think in khaki green it could be quite cool. I think khaki green would be amazing in this yeah. shape. With heels. I think you've styled it to perfection. <laughs> out, out, out of ten. Out, out of ten. ten. <laughs> I'm going with a solid Six. Thanks, babe. Thanks, when she walked in the room, did you honestly think? Did, you, did it come I thought, to your mind? What is she wearing? Did you really? Yeah. Did you really? <laughs> That's what we wanted. <laughs> so this is why I wanted to have the camera. Does it surprise you, Vic, these days? No. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Something of all age. You could be wearing this stuff daily and you don't even know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, this is truly, I think, a little bit hideous, I'll be honest. I don't want to be too negative in this video, but um, I do talk a lot about things I love on this channel, so you can give me this for today. I've only got five things here that I'm saying I don't like. The Alex just said to me, this looks like a bath mat. It really does, like the Ikea bath mats you can get, that get really horrible. And, oh, I just don't even really want to touch this, because it feels it's that really like synthetic softness that people make into rugs. I mean, I have a cushion that's kind of similar to this, but this just feels really oh god it's, like, it's giving me shivers and in this colorway and this long length cardi style it just yeah i'm just not i'm just not a fan so i'm gonna see if i can style that one day hey guys morning welcome to the final outfit final outfit of my challenge is this do you know what? i was really really quite liking my outfit this morning let me show you my outfit without this on i was quite liking it i was feeling quite quite sleek bit of a mess in here now i need to tie this place up a bit just very simple you know white tee with these very frilly cute sleeves some new jeans from mother denim these are really cool because they've got these like sequin patches behind 
here, yeah? they're just really quite different and I really like them. And this length is very like cut off length, I like high waisted. So I've put them with my um, Milan Soulier boots. And then my bulgari bag and then with my hair up, I quite liked, quite liked it. And then throwing on, throwing on this, I thought then it would have a very, you know, simple outfit to be styled with. But I still just don't, I think I can make it work. I'm going to pull these, these white sleeves out so it's quite cute and frilly at the bottom. Alex's face is just like, what is this? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not awful. And I know that a lot of people like this kind of style. I think I'm just not that keen on, I don't know, it's very <laughs> dull colour and the and so much texture and it makes my shoulders look really wide. But I mean, what, what, do, you, what do you think? It's not, it's not awful, isn't it? Is no, it? It's not too awful. I reckon if you put a hoodie on underneath it or like a, a woolly hat on as well. Ooh, a little hoodie. Mm, maybe. I like the idea of the white, like a white hoodie. I do have a white hoodie. Maybe that would work. I, I think it's quite wintry as well though. You can stick like a, like a bobble hat on or something with it. Little hat on. Uh, yeah. Do you think I'll be warm enough going out? We're going to go out for... I have no idea what it's like outside. We're going to go out now for some um, some breakfast. Yeah, bring you along, obviously. Oh. Okay, we're at Prez. It seems to be our favourite place in the world. We did try to go to um, Pan, Pan Le Cotidien, on Notting Hill Gate, and the service was the diner, so we left. We, we left and they didn't even realise we'd left. That sounds cool. So, and I was like, should we just go to Prez? And then I can get a really good coffee. I can't, we can't beat the, the coffee that's Prez for me. I just really, really like the coffee. Anyway, so we've got ourselves some, some food, some almond bites, yum. And I'm in my uh, <laughs> teddy teddy jacket. Um, it, it, I mean, it's not horrendous, isn't it? I'm not, I'm not exactly getting loads of weird looks about it, but it's, it's not me. Right now. Oh, yeah. it's, <laughs> just, <laughs> it's just not very me at all, and I feel a bit strict. Like, I, I wanted to take it off now, the cafe, because I just felt it didn't feel me or comfortable. It just looks old, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it does. It looks very like like my, my nan would wear it to sit around the house then at night in front of the fire. It's going on the bathroom floor once it's finished. <laughs> We're going to drink a black coffee and have a little walk around Notting Hill probably before we head back. Get a coffee and we're on the way home. Okay, as quick as possible. As fast as, as possible. You, I don't think you're getting any looks in it. Really? And I'm probably just being over dramatic as well, as usual. Yeah, I but think it's just because it's not very my usual style, that's all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just, and I'm just taking cozy. the mick out of you to be honest. I know, I think you're just enjoying taking the mick for these last, few, yeah. these last week, aren't you? <laughs> um, but no, the, the yellow one, you definitely got the most looks. Yeah, I did get a lot of looks in the yellow one. Yeah. Oh well. Okay guys, back to the beginning again. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this. What did you think of the way I styled up each piece? I'd love to know which item you liked the least at the beginning, but liked the most at the end. Was there anything that I changed your mind on? Let me know, I'd love to know what you think. And if you like this video, and you want me to do something a bit more like this in future, more kind of challenges, and just kind of having a bit more fun with it, let me know. But if you're brand new here, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed and joined me. And thank you so much for being here, guys, and watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. Mwah.